Happy Tuesday, everyone. It's Stace, the technical evangelist at Varnish Software, welcoming you to a new episode of Two Minute Tech Tuesdays. You know the drill by now, right? Every week I bring a new video to you about Varnish technology presented to you in two minutes or less. This week's topic is purging, one of many implementations in Varnish on how to invalidate the cache. When you put stuff in the cache, you need to find a way to get it out when required. This video is all about that. I'm gonna put two minutes on the timer. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah, you know how this works. Let's just do it. Every object that is stored in the cache has a time to live or a TTL associated with it. And until that TTL expires, that version of the content will be sent by Varnish to the client without revalidating with the origin. But what if the origin already has updated content? that will clearly not be visible to the client. So under those circumstances, it is really important for the origin to connect back to Varnish and to actively purge content from the cache. The origin can invalidate content from the cache by sending an HTTP purge request to Varnish. This is an HTTP request using the custom purge method. When Varnish is properly configured for this, it acknowledges the request, removes the object from cache and sends back a 200 OK. And this is particularly important for example, for media websites that have breaking news to announce, for them it is crucial to have the latest content out there in the cache. In terms of the implementation, we rely on VCL. We do this by hooking into the VCL receive subroutine and adding an extra if conditional that matches the request method. If the request method equals purge, we know we're dealing with a purge request, so we can call the built-in purge logic via return purge. This will remove the object from cache and acknowledge the purge request via the following HTTP response. It sends this response back to the client, which could well be the origin that triggered the cache invalidation. However, from a security point of view, you're quite vulnerable. Everyone who is clever enough to try sending purge requests to a server might end up emptying your cache. So that's why you need a level of security and you'll be implementing an access control list in VCL. We call this access control list purge and it can contain host names, IP addresses, or submits. And then it's just a matter of adding yet another if conditional to check whether or not the client IP matches the purge ACL. When this is not the case, we return a synthetic response that returns a 405 method saying that you're not allowed to perform this call. That was two minutes of purging. It pretty much comes down to this. It allows you to make breaking news break on your website as compared to waiting for TTLs to expire. I'll be back next Tuesday with yet another video. See you next week.